So in today's video, we are going to learn about how we can brute force hidden parameters and how we can find hidden parameters in a particular endpoint. So in the previous video, we have seen that uh, how we can find hidden parameters by using a tool which is known as param spider, right? But what the tool is basically doing, it was doing nothing, but it was crawling all the endpoints from uh, tools like uh, Wayback Machine, etc. Right? And then it is uh, filtering all the endpoints which have those which have some parameters right but in case if there is no uh, endpoints present in the wayback machine or in other uh, resources then that tool will return nothing right in that particular case you have to use some tool that will help you to brute force the parameter right so this is what we are going to learn in this particular video but before going into this video i just wanted to inform you guys that i have currently two courses up and running on udemy the first one is account takeover so this course is bug bounty the ultimate guide to account the hunt account takeover where i have uh, described everything related to account takeovers from the basics to the advanced level you will learn everything about account takeovers from the basics like what is account takeover what are the methods that we can use to find account takeovers and then we have moved to the advanced level like how we can find account takeover liabilities on live websites and the second course is hacking windows with python from scratch now in this particular course i've uh, i've taught you that how we can basically create a software that can be used to hack any windows machine and that software will be fully undetectable by any antiviruses till now so you will, you will actually learn that how malware works and how uh, hackers can actually hack into machines right so go ahead and check out this course if you want to also, if you are new to our channel and if you don't know about our website, which is bepractical.tech, then go ahead and check that out. We have awesome labs related to cybersecurity and web development. So yeah, you can go ahead and improve your cybersecurity skills as well as your web development skills. And all of these labs are based on real world scenarios. So let me show you one of them. For example, if you click on the cyber section, as you can see, currently we have account takeovers labs and you can also comment down which kind of lab you want for account uh, for, for uh, cyber security or bug bounty. Then we'll try to implement that as well. So yeah, go ahead and check them out and increase your bug bounty or cyber security skills. Or you can just go to the web, web development section and increase your UI US development skill. Now, with that being said, let's get started. Let's get started for this particular video. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to open the Kali Linux machine, right? So I'm just gonna go open Kali Linux machine. Also, if you don't know how to install Kali Linux on Windows without using VMware or VirtualBox, then I recommend you to check out this video of mine. The link will be showing on the right side of the video. So go ahead and click on that and learn how to install it. Now, once we have Kali Linux uh, running in our machine, what we need to do, we need to install a tool which is known as Arjun, right? A-R-J-U-N. So it is written, written by an Indian programmer. So to install it, we can just simply uh, type a command like sudo apt install arjun. Earlier we have we used to clone the repository of arjun and then install it manually. But now it comes pre-loaded uh, in the Kali Linux machine. We just need to install it using this particular command. Now if we hit enter and let's provide the root password and it's going to take some time. As you can see in my case, it is showing that arjun is already the newest version, which means that I've already installed it. But in your case, it is going to take a second of you. Now, after you have Arjun installed, we are ready to go. So the first thing that we should do is we should type Arjun and minus H to see all the features that this uh, application has to offer, right? So as you can see, these are the features, these are the flags that we can use. We have minus T for delay, minus U for URL, uh, minus T for threats to increase the speed, number of concurrent threats, minus W to specify our own custom word list, minus M to specify the method, which can be get, post, put, update, right? We have minus T for the timeout between each request and we have also some of the more para parameters like headers, uh, like passive, right? So we can also use passive to crawl some parameters from way back machine, common crawl, etc. right? We have minus table and we have many things. Now. I'm going to show you how you can use this tool in a simple way. For example, so I'm just going to open my browser and for example, let's say that I want to find a parameter on a particular website. So let us test a live website over here. So if I type a website, let's say the Pranic Healers. So let us try to find some parameters on this particular website. Now, if I go over here, the Pranic Healers .com, as you can see, this is the particular website, right? Now, let's say that I want to test for the sign up functionality. So I'm going to click on sign up and notice the URL over here. 
right so it is showing the plan killers slash users slash register dot php now the chances are quite high that there may be a login dot php also deciding on this particular endpoint so if i just replace this to login dot php let us see whether we will find a login dot php endpoint or not right as you can see there is also a login uh, functionality over here but let's find if there is a login functionality in this particular endpoint or not so as you can see the page is somewhat different from the other pages right and as you can see we have the login functionality now this page seems to be old because the login functionality is now implemented over here so chances of getting uh, vulnerabilities on this particular endpoint is quite high right but as you can see we have we currently have this url only the planicalist.com slash user slash login.php now let us try to find some hidden parameters on this particular endpoint login.php i'm just going to copy this and over here, I'm going to type Arjun and minus U flag for specifying the URL and minus M that will be used to specify the method. And I'm going to brute force by the get method. And if I hit enter over here, the tool will be started. As you can see, the first thing it is doing is analyzing the HTTP resp response, right? And after analyzing the HTTP response, it has found some parameters, right? So these are the parameters that are already in there in the HTTP response. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I go to the source code, and if I search one of these parameters, let's say chk remember, chk remember, as you can see, the parameter is over there already, right? So the first thing that this tool is doing is nothing, but it is analyzing the source code and finding some parameters that are already being there right and after that it is logic forcing or brute forcing for all the possible endpoints so let us wait and see what will be the output generated by the arjun now as you can see we have these many parameters right now if you check here these parameters have already been there in the response right but we got one extra parameter over here, right? The return URL. Now, this parameter may hold some critical vulnerabilities like uh, open redirection, server side request forgery, uh, maybe cross site scripting, etc. Right? Let, so, let us test this out and let us see whether this parameter is there or not. Now, I'm just gonna add this parameter. And let's say, for example, uh, I want the return URL to be uh, let's say bing.com to check whether this particular application is vulnerable to uh, open redirection or we can even do something like this javascript alert one let's see if the application is vulnerable to cross site scripting now i already have my account over here so i'm just gonna log in using that account so let me try this let's click on login and as you can see, we successfully got an alert displaying one, which means that the payload was executed successfully, right? So this is how we find a hidden parameter that eventually got us a vulnerability on this particular application, right? The planicillus.com. So I hope you have understood that how we can brute force parameters using, using this tool, which is known as Arjun. If you have any doubts, if you have any issues, then please let me know in the comment section. Also, if you are curious to learn more about cybersecurity and more about technologies, then do join our Telegram channel. The link we will give in, in the description as well as you can see it right on your screen. So yeah, go ahead and join the Telegram channel and let us discuss something related to cybersecurity or technology over there. Now, with that being said, thanks for watching.